Hey guys, you're welcome. I'm called Kujo. Uh, today I decided to just learn um, a dynamic system modeling and simulation with Stellar Architect. Oh, I just said, hey, why can't we learn it together? Okay. Uh, so oh, we're going to be uh, learning how we can actually do a simple simulation, uh, a simple modeling and simulation in Stellar Architect. Please, if you don't have Stellar Architect, you can great get yourself a trail copy from Stellar website uh, from I I S double E website. I see systems. Uh, you can create an account or use the online version. Or oh, you can also purchase if you have some few bucks in your pocket. <laughs> Uh, but here we're going to look at a simple scenario. Um, uh, uh, okay, for those of you who will be watching me outside uh, from Uganda, um, I'm, I'm in Uganda, uh, so some of the names I use here are from Uganda, so you shouldn't get... Um, it's so curious to looking for this. If, if you want to know more about uh, some of the concepts here, you can come to Uganda and I uh, will take you through um, it's gonna be a little bit longer, depending on how we're going to grasp uh, the whole concept. Uh, also, me, I'm a beginner like you. Especially this, this tutorial is basically for those people who might have never had an experience with Stellar. Even me personally, I don't have any experience with Stellar uh, software. I'm just starting it now with you because I'm being faced with a challenge. I need to model this concept. Okay, a lot of the talks. Uh, like here, we're saying that approximately 5 million trees are found in Nama of the forest and a construction company has been cutting down approximately 100,000 trees every year. So a concerned environmental group has been able to plant approximately 7,500 trees every three months for the first half of the year. And then, the second half of the year, the number increased to 12,000 trees every two months. How many trees will be in this forest in 30 years time? Okay, let's look at this. We have the start. Five million trees. Then someone is cutting. This is uh, the letter at the rate at which something is being lost. Something is being lost. Trees are being cut at the rate of 100,000 trees per annum. Okay. So let's just look at this, actually. Let's just look at these numbers. Let's see what they simplify, okay? Um, the trees have been approximately these trees. Every two months, this, okay? So th th these are these are things of concern. This these things I'm highlighting are things of concern when you're coming to draw our, our, our stocks and flow diagram. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's map this. Because in the stocks and flow diagrams, we need to know which one is our stock and which one is our flow. Now here clearly we have a stock of uh, tree population. Okay. So our tree population is a stock. Now what adds to this stock is when we plant new trees, it adds to the stock. And then what draws or subtracts from the stock is that whenever we are cutting down trees, the stock of trees reduces or the population of trees reduces. So that is what we need to model. That's why I say it's a simple thing. We have one inflow, we have one outflow, we have a stock and hmm, the whole thing is modeled. That's great. Okay, let's get started. So uh, this will be your Stellar interface. When you open it, uh, a lot of things there. So we we'll start with our stock. Click on the stock icon. And then click on your drawing space. There you are. So as soon as you click on it, uh, it is shows you the stock label. So what I do is I can even change this. I want it to so now. Um, so this is trees or tree population. Okay. 
can't say trees, but I'm gonna say population. Now, what is this population for? I will click on it. I come here. The unit is in trees. Hey, wait. Here we're in the document documentation mode. You also need to change to uh, the module view mode. Okay. So our unit is in trees. Okay. So that is it. Um, then. Um, Is it? It's warning. Okay, never mind. It's an invalid equation because uh, we have not yet put any equation here, so it, it is it is warning. And then we need to go and pick our flow by flow. So you click somewhere there. You draw, and once you reach the middle of this stock, you release. And uh, you can pick it and move it appropriately here. So this is our stock. Now, uh, no, our flow. This is our stock called population. It's measured in trees. This is our our flow. So uh, also we will we'll draw another flow. Now this will be from the population, and it will be going outside of the population. That is outflow. The other one is inflow. The other one is in outflow so you can still pull some of this there so this is the outflow and this is the inflow now uh, what happens in the inflow is that it's the rate at which you're planting the trees that increases the trees okay and then for the outflow it is uh, cutting that reduces the trees okay now uh, we need to set our parameters uh, parameters is going to be in years. Okay, parameter is going to be we're going to measure our time in years. Time unit is in years. Okay, um, that's it. Uh, we're going to get rid of those um, um, warning signs. Uh, but of course, what contributes to planting, there are two ways we are planting. We are planting in the first half of the year and then in the second half of the year. Just look at this statement. That um, a concerned environmental group has been able to plant approximately 7,500 trees every three months for the first half of the year. Now, in the first half of the year, we have six months. And then if trees are planted at 7,500 per three months, that means in the first half of the year, we'll only plant twice, okay? Because we have six months, if you divide six months by three months, you get two. So, meaning in the first half of the year, we'll, we'll plant 7,500 times two trees, which is 15,000 trees in the first half. Then in the second half, it is after every two years. That means we will plant, we'll plant three times because in the second half we have six months. Now, if you divide six months by two months, you get three. So we'll multiply 12,000 by three uh, to get uh, that. So meaning there are two inputs. Okay, there are also other two inputs that affect the rate at which these trees are being planted. Okay. Yeah, there are two inputs that affect the rate at which these trees are being planted. So we can use, we can do what we call a converter. So we need a converter to convert the, that rate of planting. So we double click on converter. Then we draw it somewhere here. We we'll draw our first converter. We we'll draw our second converter. Okay. And then to move out of the converter, you press escape key. So this will be, we will call this as first half. And then we will call this as the second half. Now, what happens is we are going to now join this. We have converters, so we need to connect them to the tree population, okay? So what we do is to, to plant in so that they can be an input to the tree population. 
So what you do is you get your connector uh, from this converter, you call yourself, there you go, you get it again. Also from here you draw, there you go. So uh, these are now inputs to uh, the planting, okay? Now, uh, I, I didn't talk about the warnings. Uh, we're going to look at why we have the warnings right now. Now, the warnings is because we haven't spe specified the method, the formula or the equation for deriving those variables. Like, how do we get the variable of planting in first year, first half, uh, first half, uh, in the second half of the year, how do we arrive at the, the, the cutting rate uh, and all those kind of things? So uh, let, let's start with um, let's start with the population. Uh, our population, our initial population of the trees is five million. So we'll come to our stellar and I uh, will say uh, our initial population is five million. Careful when you type in, careful so that okay. So you can even see it is a uh, hand, the warnings are going. Even you can see here that the invalid uh, equations you can see, but of course, one by one, we shall eliminate them. Then uh, we're saying in the first half of the year, you also click on first half. In the first half of the year, we're saying we are planting, we said we after every three months, that means two times how many? 7,500 trees. The unit is trees per years. Because we, st we had specified there the unit to be years somewhere. So our time, our timeline we had specified it to be years. So this is going to be trees per years. So you will save that. Okay, also here, okay, yeah, this is where we specified our time unit to be here, so we shall have to be consistent with that. Now you also click on this, um, we're planting three times in that half, but we are planting every time 12,000 trees, and the unit is also going to be trees per years. Okay, so that is it. Good. There we go. Uh, we're now having two invalid uh, equations. Now, we know the planting rate or the rate at which trees are planted is equal to the rate, is equal to the sum of the two seasons, the first half of the year and the second half of the year. So when you add these together, you get the number of trees planted in a year so what you do is you will click on this now you see now there are two inputs into this already by default when you click on it you will see that there are two required inputs for it so you will say okay this planting is equal to the planting in first half plus the planting in second half just like that and uh, the unit is already in it trees per years automatic so you save that good now the second thing is now the cutting rate now the cutting rate was specified to be a constant number of 100,000 trees every year so you just need to do that and uh, you just need to do that and uh, you put it good we say uh, 100 thousand trees every year that's okay okay save that good you see we don't have those errors now actually at this point we have already finished modeling we have already finished designing our module now we have perfectly modeled this situation now if we were to put this in a um, causal loop diagram would say um, the number of trees planted in a year 
is affected by the number of trees planted in the first half and is affected by the number of trees planted in the second half. Now, this, if more trees are planted in the first half, that means more trees will be planted in that year. If more trees are planted in the second half, that means more trees will be planted in that year. So that is what we call the polarity. Now, to add the polarity to these lines, to these links, to these connectors, you click on the connector and then you add the polarity. So the polarity for that is the positive. Then the polarity for this, uh, we can say place it inside, inside is it okay? Place it outside, I think place it outside is okay. Then the polarity for this is also positive because um, an increase in it leads to uh, simultaneous and an increase in the planting rate. So meaning more trees will be planted, okay? Okay, so that is uh, our model. Uh, what, what is remaining now is to simulate this model. We, are, we have to now run this model for, uh, uh, for that period of 30 years and see how uh, it's going to, to, to show uh, how many trees will be by the end of the 30 years. Now, when we want, want to do that, uh, mostly we need to visualize it. We could actually run this right now. It's okay. We can run it. Uh, let me see. We can run it. Like You can just click here down on the uh, bottom left hand of your interface there is the run button so you can click on it you see that is a simulation but here we cannot see exactly the results so we need to visualize these results to a live man okay. you see you can select it actually if you want to drag it somewhere you can select it like that and then click and drag it good so uh, if you want to visualize this effect of simulation uh, what you do is you click on the graph icon then you click on an empty space so that is where your graph is going to be so you're going to visualize you're going to visualize the effect here Okay, so uh, we're going to have our graph here. But then before we have the graph, uh, we can have, I think, uh, to visualize it better, we need to have a bar graph. Line graph may work, but I want us to use a bar graph. Uh, so uh -huh, that's good. After having the bar graph, uh, what we need to do is um, we need to add our variables. Now, to add the variable, you just come here after clicking on the graph you just come here on the green icon and then click add series so on the other axis we're going to have our population and then on the other axis the population of trees yes then on the other axis and oh now we can't have that actually it's supposed to use a line graph wait a line graph is better when you use a line graph, it's going to map it over a period of years because uh, there's a delay for us to achieve some situation, some uh, 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 value. So I will use a line graph and uh, okay. So we add our variables on the horizontal axis. We already have the years. Then on the vertical axis. Um, Let's have uh, the population of trees. So that is it. But currently, we have just um, simulated it over 13 years. We're supposed to simulate it in 30 years time. So uh, we start from zero because these are the initials. Then we run for 30 years. Okay. So uh, after that, you can actually simulate this. Okay. So this is the value of the, the number of trees 
this is the number of trees in that forest after 30 years. Now, uh, I told you here we can't even visualize it much better. That is just um, uh, an illustration of how it's going to reduce uh, uh, the trend, the trend, uh, because it's a linear, it's a linear trend. So we can see it's a linear trend now. Now, but but we we need to know the actual figures now. Uh, the best way to know the actual figures is uh, by using the table. So we have the table icon here. Okay, so you can click on the table icon and then add it here. Okay, so we now have our table. Organize your workspace well. Ah, now we we have our table. Now you see the table is running it for thirty years. Now what we need to do is we just need to add variables to this table so that we can see the actual number of trees in that forest after 30 years. So what you do is, you, as we did for the graph, you also click on the variable to add. Okay, let's add a tree population. Okay, that's just enough to show us. So uh, after 30 years, in the 30th year, we'll have 3 million 530,000 trees in that forest. Okay, so that is uh, that is how we can actually simulate this. However, of course, these other values are constants. Uh, they're not changing in every year. They're not based on percentage. They, 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 they are not being affected by the population of the trees. So they are constants. Even the rate of outflow is a constant. But of course, uh, the inflow is a constant, the outflow is a constant. But if you want to add them into your table, it's okay. So you also click on the variable. You add the rate at which they are being planted. Um, Click on this, the rate at which they have been uh, cut. Hmm. So that is it. Now it has formatted it in KM, KM. So what you do is uh, you can format it to, to show all the zeros, all the figures uh, as you wish. So what you do is uh, you, you can actually, yeah, as I said, you can format it. So what you do to do that is you just click on the column. Here you have selected population. You can choose a number formatting. And then you say uh, full precision. And then uh, you can say scale by 1000. K. Yeah, that is it. So also the same thing here. You come to planting. Number formatting. Full precision. Thousands. Um, number formatting. Full precision. Thousands. Okay, so this is this is your simulated diagram. Okay, this is your simulation. This is how you can actually determine uh, how many trees will be that. But of course, there are other complex examples. Uh, I just decided that you should start with a simple one. So as we uh, widen our knowledge of simulation and modeling, um, we can be able to to do some complex examples in future. So this is so far it, how we can model. You can see just in a simple way, you have already known how, how many uh, trees will be there in, uh, in this forest in 30 years. I actually did uh, one of these models in uh, Excel. I uh, also did uh, using integration. But still, I'm getting the same answers. This is what I did in Excel. I used the formula to do that. So at the end, I was able to get this which is what we have got here. And then I also did uh, integration, uh, that is in my book. I used um, integration over time using the, the, st the, the, the stock flow rate, uh, where we say uh, the integral from time zero to time t uh, of uh, change in the flows, that is inflow minus outflow with respect to stock plus the initial stock value is what gives us the stock at time t. So that's also what I did, and I also got the same answer. So, uh, yeah, pretty much it's good. So this is it. Guys, I'll meet you again in the next example. You'll be there. Thanks for watching.